Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. In the meshless name of Yahoshua Mashiach, this is Yahweh's servant, Reginald M. Graham, and we are delighted to be able to come to you once again with another message from the Word of Yahweh. This has come out of her, my people, broadcast with your host, Reginald M. Graham. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just a voice crying in this end time wilderness, preparing the way of Yahweh, making straight paths for our Messiah, Yahoshua Mashiach. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse number 14, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations and then shall the end come. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank Yahweh for you tuning in with us this evening with another message from the word of Yahweh. We greet each and every one of you once again in the matchless name of Yahoshua Mashiach. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen evil and rootless, ruthless men and women of the past and present that committed diabolical crimes against humanity. The violent and brutality, they were violent, ladies and gentlemen. They were very violent and brutal men and women. They murdered thousands and even millions of innocent people. Men and women such as Alexander the Great, Julius Caesar, Herod the Great, Nero, Caligula, Charlemagne, Eric the Red, uh, Ganas, uh, Genghis Khan, Attila the Hun, Vlad the Impala, Ivan the Terrible, Henry the Eighth, Christopher Columbus, Elizabeth Bathory, Wuzintian, uh, Mary the First of England, Isabella of Castile, Joseph Stalin, uh, Ma Zedan, Adolf Hitler, Tamabomi Yamashita of Japan, Moa Gaddafi, uh, Saddam Hussein, Idi Amin, and I cannot forget about the United States of America and the British government. There are many more heartless, soulless, and cruel individuals that I could have included with this list, but time would fail me. But I have highlighted those who most people are familiar with today. These individuals in the U.S., and British government have committed the most inhumane and soulless crimes on humanity in the existence of mankind. Many of these individuals died horrible deaths, cruel, agonizing deaths, ladies and gentlemen. Alexander the Great allegedly drunk himself to death, but many historians believe now he was poisoned by his own generals and took several agonizing and excruciating days to die. Julius Caesar was stabbed 23 times with daggers as he laid suffering in his blood with excruciating pain. Nero stabbed himself through the neck. Caligula was murdered with swords by his own Praetorian guard. Both Herod the Great and Henry VIII died the most excruciating deaths imaginable. Before they died, sores developed all over their bodies. These sores put off the most foulest odor one could smell. Joseph Stalin died of a massive stroke brought on by poison from his own inner circle. Joseph Stalin laid in his own urine three days before being discovered. Adolf Hitler shot himself in the head. Idi Amin suffered with kidney failure months before his death. Saddam Hussein was hung. Uh, Mo Muammar Gaddafi was discovered hiding in a sewage pipe 
before he was shot in the forehead. He was brutally tortured for hours, ladies and gentlemen, before his death. Man of these cruel and ruthless individuals suffer uh, the most agonizing, excruciating pains, hours and even days before their deaths. But in their lifetime, they inflicted the most violent and barbaric deaths on their innocent victims. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, these brutal and cruel men, ladies and gentlemen, of the past and the present, these individuals suffer the most agonizing and excruciating pains, hours and even days before their deaths. But in their lifetime, they inflicted the most violent and barbaric deaths on their innocent victims. The Bible has much to say about bloody and wicked men and women. Many of these tyrants and dictators did not believe in the Most High Elohim. <clears throat> they did not believe in a divine retribution for their cruel crimes on humanity. But when they died, immediately they lifted up their eyes in hell, being in torments. Their belief in the non-existence of Yahweh changed very quickly once they felt the flames of hell. Psalms 55 and verse 23 declares, but, but thou, O Elohim, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. Many serial killers and ruthless and bloody, violent men died premature. Some were brutally murdered in prison, ladies and gentlemen. They died in their 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. Many people on my list of some of the most brutal and violent men and women in history, the past and the present, died extremely young. Like they, ladies and gentlemen, like the Bible, amen, tells us what happens to men and women, ladies and gentlemen, that are wicked. Glory to Yahweh. They died extremely young, ladies and gentlemen, because of their wickedness, the lives that they live. The Bible says that they would not live out half their lives, ladies and gentlemen. They would not even live out half of their lives. Psalms 5 verses 40 verses 4 through 6 declares, For thou art not an Elohim that have pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. <clears throat> Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. Yahweh will abhor the bloody and deceitful men. The scriptures say that Yahweh will abhor bloody and deceitful men. Ladies and gentlemen. Job 15 and verse 20 declares, The wicked man travails with pain all his days, and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor. A dreadful sound is in his ears, and prosperity, the destroyer, shall come upon him. He believes not that he shall return out of darkness, and he is waited for of the sword. The wicked, their life is full of hardship. They don't believe that their ruthless reign will ever come to an end. Romans 2 and 6 
declares, who will re render to every man according to his deeds? Yahweh will render a man, every man, according to his deeds, ladies and gentlemen. Romans 2 and 9 declares, tribulation and anguish upon every soul, a man that doeth evil of the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Ladies and gentlemen, I read you a list of some of the ruthless, uh, most bloody, violent, cruelest men and women of the past and present, ladies and gentlemen. Many of these people, amen, they died a agonizing, painful, ladies and gentlemen, and excruciating death because of the sins they committed. The Bible declares tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jew first and also to the Gentile. These people just did not die. Most of them did not die in their old age, a ripe old age, ladies and gentlemen. And many of them that died, they died premature. They died in their youth. And they didn't just die like normal people died through natural causes. When they died, they died agonized, excruciating, painful deaths. Many of them, it took uh, days, ladies and gentlemen, several days and many hours for these people to die. Like I uh, shared with you, uh, Henry VIII, ladies and gentlemen, killed many of his wives. He was married six times and killed most of his wives. And he died a very a painful and agonizing death. I mean, full of sores, sores all over his body, ladies and gentlemen. And the sores stunk so bad. I mean, foul odor, ladies and gentlemen. He died in agonizing, uh, uh, excruciating death. He endured excruciating pains for days, ladies and gentlemen, before he died, but he was a very ruthless and wicked and bloody and deceitful man, amen, during his lifetime. Herod the Great, Herod the Great slew, he killed two of his sons, he killed, amen, two of his wives, he killed uh, his father-in-law, he killed his brother-in-law, ladies and gentlemen. He died a cruel death agonizing death. He went uh, through pain for, for months, ladies and gentlemen, before he died. They called in different doctors and physicians to try to help him, amen, uh, with his illness and his sickness uh, that he had, ladies and gentlemen, but no physician, no doctor can give him any relief, any comfort to soothe him from the pain this man endured, ladies and gentlemen. But in his lifetime, he inflicted the most ruthless and cruel and violent deaths on his victims, ladies and gentlemen. Innocent people, innocent people was killed by the hand of Herod the Great. But his death, ladies and gentlemen, sores covered all his body, um, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> the physicians would put um, worms, blood worms on him to try to uh, suck the lesions from him, ladies and gentlemen, because of the pain that he was experiencing. And he lost his mind. He became mentally deranged, ladies and gentlemen. It was the most excruciating Amen. Pain and the most agonizing death that anyone could endure. But look at the hell he inflicted on others. Look at the tortures and amen and, and torments, ladies and gentlemen, that he inflicted on his enemies and on innocent people, ladies and gentlemen. But they paid for their sins. The Bible tells us. Yahweh will render to every man according to his deeds. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we have 
men and women of the past that were so barbaric, soulless and heartless, wicked men that killed tens of thousands and some of them even killed millions of um, Ma Zetong of China, a man, uh, killed uh, 50 million of his own people. Uh, Joseph Stalin threw many of his people in gulags, a man, prison camps throughout Siberia and Russia, ladies and gentlemen. And Joseph Stalin, a man, caused artificial, manufactured artificial famines to kill, to murder people. And, and Joseph Stalin is accredited of killing over 50 million, amen, of his own people, ladies and gentlemen. But they died, amen. He died a very uh, 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 agonizing death. This man, the people, his inner circle was so afraid of him because he killed so many people, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, because, uh, he had no natural affection. Uh, human life did not mean anything to Joseph Stalin and these other people on my list, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just talking about Joseph Stalin now. And Joseph Stalin would just kill people like it's nothing, ladies and gentlemen. But he died, ladies and gentlemen. He had a massive stroke and, and he lay for three days in his office, in his own urine, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody would come and check on him. They haven't heard from him in three days, but they were afraid to check on him because they felt that he could have killed them. And so because of that, amen, he laid three days. And after three days, they said something must be wrong with him. And they came in and found him laying in his own urine, ladies and gentlemen, after a a uh, catastrophic, massive stroke that took him out, ladies and gentlemen. The Bible declares <coughs> in Romans 2 and 9, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, of the Jew first and also uh, to the Gentile. The Bible tells us in, in the book of uh, Proverbs uh, 13 and, and 15, the way of a transgressor is hard. Uh, there's no peace for the wicked, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. The way of a transgressor is hard. The Bible says in Isaiah 57, verses 20 through 21, but the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire. There is no peace, says Yahweh, to the wicked. Th these people of the past and even the present today, we have many wicked folk. And I'm not just talking about these tyrants and dictators. There have been many wicked folks. Amen. And, and uh, time will fail me to, to, to uh, address all of the wicked people of the past and violent men and women of the past. And I gave you a list about, what, 15, 20 people. But ladies and gentlemen, throughout uh, the ages of man, there have been many violent, many barbaric, uh, many brutal and cruel men, ladies and gentlemen, that inflicted horrific uh, deaths on innocent victims. I mean, they slew tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and even millions, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. But these people live very hard lives. There was much turmoil and amen. It was much uh, tumult in their lives, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. Be because of their wickedness. Glory to Yahweh. And I want you to know something. The Bible is the word of Yahweh. It is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is right. Glory to Yahweh. Amen. Psalms uh, 11 verses 5 through 6 declares, Yahweh tries the righteous, but the wicked in him that loves violence, his soul hates. Yahweh hates the, amen, those a man that commit violence, ladies and gentlemen. He hated these serial killers, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, 
and, and some of these uh, Ted Bundy and a lot of these men died in their 30s, died young. Many others died in their 40s. Many of them succumbed to death, amen, by other inmates in the prisons. Killed them, ladies and gentlemen. Murdered them while they was in the prison. But they inflicted horrible, amen, uh, um, horrible, ladies and gentlemen, amen, deaths on their victims, ladies and gentlemen. The Bible say, upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, and an horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. Psalms 34 and 21 declares, evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Some of the same uh, devices that the wicked use to slay righteous people or innocent people, ladies and gentlemen, they will fall victim to some of the same devices they use on others. The same devices they use on others, ladies and gentlemen, will happen to them, ladies and gentlemen. They sh murdered other people with guns and swords. They were murdered, ladies and gentlemen, the same way that they inflicted, amen, death on other people. Glory to Yahweh. Psalms 37 verses 14 through 15 declares the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bit their bow to cast down the poor and needy and they slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword, listen to this, their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. Many of these ruthless, violent, and wicked men and women of the past and present killed their own selves. They committed suicide, ladies and gentlemen. Caligula, uh, Adolf Hitler, ladies and gentlemen. These people committed suicide. Uh, Nero, he committed suicide. Many of these ruthless and violent men and women of the past Amen. Succumb, amen, to their own sword or their own gun, ladies and gentlemen. Many of these ruthless, violent, and wicked men of the past and present kill their own selves with their sword and guns. They turn their own weapons on themselves. Psalms 37, verses 35 through 36 declares, I have seen the wicked and great power spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. The wicked, ladies and gentlemen, they are going to pass away. Later. They're going to fade away like a flower. They're going to wither like grass, ladies and gentlemen. They only triumph. The book of Job say that the wicked and the hypocrite, he only triumph. Only for a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. Their, their empires, their kingdoms will not last, ladies and gentlemen. They will come to an abrupt end. We look at Muammar Gaddafi, ladies and gentlemen. Gaddafi, he inflicted, oh, terrible, horrible, horrific uh, uh things on his own people, ladies and gentlemen. He murdered his own people. Uh, he, he, he tortured and hung publicly his own people, ladies and gentlemen, for just speaking out uh, of the th crimes and of, of the things that he was doing wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Omar Gaddafi uh, uh, sponsored terrorists and had planes uh, a, a blow up with 200 and something people on it. He blew up nightclubs, ladies and gentlemen, with American citizens and other citizens. Uh, he was a, a ruthless man, ladies and gentlemen. He butchered. He butchered his own people. Glory to Yahweh. But, ladies and gentlemen, during the Arab Spring in 2011, his empire came to an abrupt 
in, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. Uh, the rebels there in his country, the, it was an uprising, ladies and gentlemen. A civil war there in Libya. And then NATO sponsored these rebels, ladies and gentlemen. And they overthrew uh, uh, Omar Gaddafi's, amen, great empire, ladies and gentlemen. And he ran for his life. And they found him hiding, amen, uh, in a sewage pipe, ladies and gentlemen. And they took him out and they tortured him and uh, tormented him. Uh, he endured uh, excruciating, agonizing pain, ladies and gentlemen, hours before they eventually, amen, shot him in his forehead, ladies and gentlemen. We look at Mussolini, um, Mussolini uh, there in Italy during <clears throat> the Second World War. Uh, we see the uh, horrific, ladies and gentlemen, uh, things that he inflicted on his own people, ladies and gentlemen. He, he was another ruthless butcher, glory to Yahweh. But his empire came to an end Ladies and gentlemen, it came to an end. His violent and ruthless and barbaric uh, uh, empire came to an abrupt end, ladies and gentlemen. And he ran for his life, him and his mistress. Ladies and gentlemen, they, they caught them and, amen, they shot him and shot her and hung them up upside down. Amen, they're in the square of Rome, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. Hung him upside down. Glory to Yahweh. After people spit on their corpse and, and uh, uh, piss on their corpse. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to the Bible. Say piss. We say urine. But piss is in the Bible, ladies and gentlemen. But he, his, he died a very agonizing death, ladies and gentlemen. But what did he do to uh, his own people? Ladies and gentlemen, people that oppose his, his fascist system that he ruled over, ladies and gentlemen, it came to an end. Not only these ruthless individuals of the past and future that most of us are familiar with, but there are people, ladies and gentlemen, that history doesn't even write about. They were ruthless, ladies and gentlemen. We see Al Capone and some of these mafia leaders, amen, how they died. Al Capone died a, 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 a very agonizing death. I mean, he went through excruciating pain for months, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he had syphilis, and the syphilis came back, ladies and gentlemen, and began to torture him, and he became mentally deranged, ladies and gentlemen. He suffered. He suffered, glory to Yahweh, in pain, agonizing pain, for months before he died. But look what he did. Look at the deaths, ladies and gentlemen, that he committed. Look at the violence, the atrocities, the casualties, ladies and gentlemen, that he committed at his own hand. It came back and haunted him. Listen, listen, there's been people of the past that you and I are not aware of. History didn't, didn't write, ladies and gentlemen. They were evil and ruthless individuals, ladies and gentlemen. And every one of them, they suffered. They suffered, ladies and gentlemen, for their sin. They died premature death. A wicked, ladies and gentlemen, bloody, the Bible saying, evil men will not even live out half their days. Will not live out half glory to Yahweh their days for, for, for the, 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 the atrocities and murders and barbaric practices that they inflicted on their enemies and innocent victims, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, glory to Yahweh. The word of Yahweh is right, friend. The word of Yahweh is right. Just like Yahweh has given us the word and showed us the retribution, the recompense that would take place on wicked, violent, bloodthirsty, uh, 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 bloody and deceitful men 
and women, ladies and gentlemen. It does not pay to be ruthless, evil. Many of these people did not believe in the Most High. They didn't believe in Yahweh. They didn't believe in a, a higher supreme being. They did not believe it. Stalin was communist, the atheist. These were uh, people that didn't even believe, amen, in Yahweh. The state, the government was their God. They worship, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just like North Korea, uh, just like Red China today, these are communists, amen, Countries, Yahwehless countries, people, countries, amen, that don't even believe in Yahweh and don't believe that they're going to have to pay for their crimes that they have committed against humanity, ladies and gentlemen. They don't think that they're going to, amen, have to pay, but they're not getting back, getting by. The Bible says, be not deceived, for Yahweh is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Galatians 6 and 7. We're going to reap, amen, for the sins that we have committed, ladies and gentlemen. All these wicked and evil men and women of the past. I, I named off uh, many of them on my list. And time will fail me to, to include others on this list like Napoleon Ladies and gentlemen, glory to Yahweh and, 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 and other people, glory to Yahweh, that I could include on this list, but time would have failed me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, men and women like Alexander the Great, Julius Caesar, Herod the Great, Nero, Caligula, uh, Charlemagne, Eric the Red, the Viking, uh, uh, Attila the Hun, Ghanas Khan, uh, Vlad the Impeller. Count Dracula, ladies and gentlemen, Ivan the Terrible, Henry the Eighth, Christopher Columbus, Elizabeth Bathory, uh, Wu Zetin, Mary the First of England, Bloody Mary, blood, they gave her the title, Bloody Mary, amen, Isabella of Castile, uh, Joseph Stalin, Ma Zedan, Adolf Hitler, Tama Bami Yamashita, uh, uh, the great Japanese, amen, general of World War II. Muammar Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein, Idi Amin of, 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 of uh, Uganda, Uganda. And, and I cannot forget about the U.S. and British governments. There are many more heartless, soulless, and cruel individuals that I could have included with this list, but time, amen, would fail me. But I have highlighted those who most, you know, are familiar with, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. They're paying for their sin. In hell, they lifted up their eyes in torment. They didn't believe. Many of them didn't believe in and, and Yahweh, Adolf Hitler, and he didn't believe in, in Yahweh. He was once Roman Catholic, but he denounced, amen, the Christian faith, amen. He, he denounced the Bible, glory to Yahweh. He didn't believe, but I'm telling you that all of them believers, all these men and women, amen, that, that, that were bloody, bloodthirsty, violent, amen, bloody and deceitful men, I mean, brutal, cruel, I mean, cruel men and women, ladies and gentlemen, every one of them know that there is a man, a Yahweh in the heavens. They know that hell is real, friend. They know it now. They know it now. I wish, I know they wish they had another opportunity to get it right. I guarantee, ladies and gentlemen, if they can come out of hell now, they'll tell Tell everybody, amen, that's living, don't you live the way we live. Don't you do what I've done, amen, because hell is real. Remember the Bible talks about that the, the rich man, amen, in Luke 16, he died. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes and being in torment. And he asked for Lazarus, the poor man, to tip, dip his finger, amen, the tip of his finger, amen, in some water and and put it on his tongue and soothe his tongue. And Abraham said, you know, I can't send him. That's a great guff. He can't come over. He said, well, can you send, amen, amen, him, send Lazarus to my brothers, 
Can you send Lazarus to my brothers and tell uh, my brothers, because they wicked just like I am, they were wicked just like I am, and, and tell them, uh, change their ways, amend their ways, repent of their sins, for they won't have to come down in this this hell that I'm experiencing, that they won't have to experience these flames down here, this discomfort and this pain and agony down here. Glory to Yahweh. And Abraham said, listen, they have Moses, they have the prophets, let them hear them. And, and he said, no, no, but if one uh, rose from the dead and came and talked to them, they'll believe. <laughs> Glory to Yahweh. No, they won't believe, ladies and gentlemen. Man have their uh, uh, opportunity right now to, amen, to hear the gospel. Listen, I don't care if you come from the dead and go to them. They ain't going to believe you, ladies and gentlemen. They have the word of Yahweh. They have the Bible. If they believe, they will believe the scripture. They don't need to see a miracle, a sign, or wonder, amen, in order for them to believe. Glory to Yahweh. Yahweh will say there won't be no sign given uh, to this wicked generation. My goodness. Thank Yahweh for the truth. Well, let me move on. Psalms 11 verses 5 through 6 declares Yahweh tries the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hates. Yahweh's soul hates them that commit violence. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and in horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. Psalms 34 and 21 declares, Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate it, the righteous shall be desolate. The, the, the sword, ladies and gentlemen, that they use on others, that same sword took them out. Psalms 37 verses 14 through 15 declares, The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bit the bow. To cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. Many of these ruthless, violent, and wicked men and women of the past and present kill their own selves with their sword and guns. They turn their weapons on themselves. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's people today that they're so wicked. They're so evil. We see the horrific uh, uh, murders that's taking place all throughout the world, especially in the West, especially in the U.S., ladies and gentlemen. People killing their own children, uh, killing their parents, amen, uh, for uh, uh, the insurance policy money. And, and uh, I mean, it's sad how wicked folks is killing their own children because they in debt ladies and gentlemen and they need money and they want the life policy ladies and gentlemen uh, on the children Man, that is terrible ladies and gentlemen all these people that's committing all these uh, violent crimes and they think they getting by they think they getting away and some of them haven't been caught yet some of them haven't been judged for what they've done ladies and gentlemen and some people have died never being judged by the court systems of our world. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, Yahweh, you can't get by Yahweh court system. You can't get by Yahweh's judgment. If you slip by man's judgment, Yahweh, amen, will judge you. You better believe that. Nobody's getting by. Nobody's going to escape. Amen, amen, Yahweh's judgment. Yahweh is going to reward every man according to his work shall be. Yahweh is going, the Bible says in the book of uh, Romans, ladies and gentlemen, in the book of Romans chapter number 2 verse 6, who will render to every man according to his deeds. Yahweh is going to render to every man according to his deeds, ladies and gentlemen. These people think they're getting by. They Going out, there's many serial killers right now as I speak that have not been apprehended, haven't been caught yet. And they're digging holes and burying people, amen, in their backyards and burying people under their slabs of their houses, and amen. 
uh, cutting people up, cutting them up, their bodies up, and putting them in garbage bags, and throwing them in the rivers, and throwing them, amen, in the oceans and seas. <clears throat> they think they're going to get by. They're going to be caught. They are going to get caught. And I'm going to tell you, the same, the same uh, 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 sins, the same things, ladies and gentlemen, that they inflict, amen, on their Glory to Yahweh, victims, they are going to experience worse. Yes, they are going to experience worse than that, ladies and gentlemen. They are not going to get by. Yahweh sees everything. His eyes is in every place beholding the evil and good. People have murdered people. They think they've got away, amen, uh, with the crime. Glory to Yahweh, but they ain't got away. Amen. If man don't eventually catch up with them, Yahweh gonna always catch up with them. And I'm telling you, with the technology, the advanced technology that they have today, ladies and gentlemen, it is almost impossible. Glory to Yahweh to get away, amen, with violent crimes and crimes today. They will find you with all this technology, amen, that the FBI and CIA and Mossad and all these other, amen, secret uh, intelligent agencies and police agencies, amen, got at their disposal. People are not going to get by. They got satellites looking at people. Uh, they got cameras everywhere monitoring, amen, every movement that people make today, ladies and gentlemen. But if they uh, are, are able to get by those things, if they can escape those things, it's almost impossible to do. But if they escape that, they will not escape the judgment of Yahweh is appointed for man once to die and after that the judgment Yahweh sees everything and people think they get him by oh no when they uh, uh, lay down amen close their eyes for the last time and hell they're going to lift up their eyes being in torment and they're going to be called out of hell and stand before Yahushua at the white throne judgment and be judged amen for the things that's done in their body ladies and gentlemen the bible says 2 Corinthians 5 and 10 we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach to receive the things done in our body, whether they be good or evil. Knowing the terror of Yahweh, we persuade man. Ain't nobody getting by. Nobody's getting by because uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because a sin of an evil work is not executed speedily, it's fully set in the hearts of the son of men to do evil, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let me close this message. Glory to Yahweh. Psalms uh, 37, 35 through 36 declare, I have seen the wicked in great power, spreading himself like a green bay tree, yet he passes away, and lo, he was not, not, yea, I sought him, but he could not be Fair, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Psalms 141 and 10. Let the wicked fall into their own nets. Whilst that I withal escape. The wicked gonna fall in his own nets, ladies and gentlemen. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see, ladies and gentlemen, the reward of the wicked. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to fall in his own nets. The weapons that he used, glory to Yahweh, against his victims. Those are the same weapons, amen, glory to Yahweh, that he is going to be killed by, amen. He's, he, he's going to be slayed by, ladies and gentlemen. Look at King Saul. King Saul used that sword against his enemies but the same sword he used guess what king saul fell on his own sword ladies and gentlemen people gonna fall on their own sword they gonna fall by their own weapons amen they devices of torture and torment that they inflicted on others my goodness the bible says psalms 141 in verse 10 let the wicked fall into their own nets Ladies and gentlemen, with that I withal escape. Psalms 
146 and verse 9 declares, the way of the wicked, <coughs> he turn is upside down. The scriptures say that Yahweh turned the way of the wicked upside down. It doesn't pay to be wicked. It doesn't pay to be bloody and deceitful. It doesn't pay to be bloodthirsty. It doesn't pay to be a violent individual. Ladies, it doesn't pay to take human life or even animal life. Amen. Glory, because just, just for the fun of it. It doesn't, amen, pay, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't pay. We gonna reap what we sow. Some people are just so ruthless, they don't care. And we not I'm not just talking about people uh, that 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 are violent, but you got thieves and you got robbers, ladies and gentlemen. People mug people. Amen. They gonna pay for their sins. Amen. Also, glory to Yahweh. But Yahweh, amen, the scripture says in Psalms 146, verse 9, the way of the wicked, Yahweh turn is upside down. Psalms 141 and verse 11 declares, let not an evil speaker, listen to this, be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt violent man to overthrow him. Adolf Hitler Joseph Stalin and Mars and Tom were evil speakers, ladies and gentlemen. They were evil speakers. You ever seen one of Adolf Hitler's speeches? You ever seen one of his speeches? I mean, the man was full of energy, but hate, amen. He spit hate, amen, out of his mouth, ladies and gentlemen. He was a man full of hate, especially against Amen. The European Jews and, and gypsies, homosexuals and blacks, ladies and gentlemen, glory to Yah. He hated them with a passion. And, and he Adolf Hitler burned. He gassed, amen, over six million, amen, European Jews. He burnt them, ladies and gentlemen, amen, in gas chambers and ovens there, amen, in Europe. Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, and Mao Zedong were evil speakers, ladies and gentlemen, but their empires were never established. Their empires was never established in the earth, particular Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler, Third Reich, that's supposed to last for a thousand years, lasted only 12 years. In the beginning of the war, ladies and gentlemen, he invaded uh, uh, Czechoslovakia. He invaded Austria. He invaded Poland, amen, and murdered millions of Polish peoples, ladies and gentlemen. Then he went into France, glory to Yahweh. Then uh, his Luftwaffe uh, Air Force dropped billions of tons of bombs on Great Britain, ladies and gentlemen, but, but could not overthrow them. And, but, but then the war began to change, ladies and gentlemen. He overcame France. He, 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 he destroyed France. But when he went to Great Britain, things began to change, ladies and gentlemen. And then he could not defeat Great Britain, amen, because of the Royal Air Force there in Great Britain. Britain, ladies and gentlemen, destroyed close to uh, 2,500 of his planes. Glory to Yahweh, because he wanted to invade Great Britain. So he turned his eyes to the east. He went into Russia, and he was doing good in Russia. Amen. I mean, it looked like he was getting ready to overthrow Russia, but the winter sunk in, and the Germans was not used to that uh, uh, Russian winter. Those Russian winters, I mean, 60, 70 degrees below zero, ladies and gentlemen. And the planes couldn't fly because the, the oil and the gas froze up in the planes and the tanks and the guns wouldn't shoot, ladies and gentlemen. And things turned around quickly. But Adolf Hitler started off, amen, like his 1,000-year uh, uh, right would last. But it didn't. It only turned, lasted 12 years, ladies and gentlemen. The Allies fought against him, ladies and gentlemen, and overthrew Adolf Hitler's, amen, 1,000-year 
Amen. Third Reich, it only lasts for 12 years. Joseph Stalin, Soviet Union, fell in 1990. It didn't last. Glory to Yahweh. The Bible says, ladies and gentlemen, that evil hunt, amen, the wicked, ladies and gentlemen. It says, evil shall hunt violent men to overthrow him. All the evil that they inflicted, ladies and gentlemen, that evil came back to hunt them. Amen. All the evil, all the violence, the atrocities, ladies and gentlemen, that Adolf Hitler, uh, Zoe, uh, Mao Zedong, uh, Joseph Stalin, and many, many more, Julius Caesar, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Attilia Hahn, and, and Ghanas Khan, and Caligula, and uh, Nero, glory to Yahweh, uh, Henry VIII, uh, uh, Mary, Queen of England, Bloody Mary, uh, Isabella of Castile, all of these wicked people, Vlad the Impeller, Ivan the Terrible, all these wicked people throughout the past and present, Muammar Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein, Idi Amin, ladies and gentlemen, glory to Yahweh, all these atrocities, that they have inflicted on people, it came back upon them, ladies and gentlemen. Let me read that again in Psalms 141 and verse 11. It tells us, let not all evil speakers be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt violent man to overthrow him. You see that? Evil, the Bible says, shall hunt violent men to overthrow him. Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, and Mao Zedong were evil speakers in the earth, but their empires were never established in the earth. Adolf Hitler's Third Reich, that's supposed to last for a thousand years, only lasted 12 years. It, they all came to naught, ladies and gentlemen. Came to naught. Glory to Yahweh. Joseph Stalin, Soviet Union, fell in 1990. Evil hunted these men with their empires crumbling and, ladies and gentlemen, collapsing. Their empires crumbled and collapsed, ladies and gentlemen. The only kingdom that will last forever is the kingdom of Yahushua Mashiach. Bless the name of Yahweh. For unto us a son is born. Amen. Unto us Amen. A child is born and to us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Elohim, the Everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace and his kingdom. There shall be no end, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. He's that rock that's hewed out of the mountain without a hand. Glory to Yahweh and destroy the kingdoms of Babylon the kingdoms of, uh, of Persia and the Medes, the kingdoms of, of Greece and the kingdoms of Rome, ladies and gentlemen. Those kingdoms that was established on the earth, they all came down. Every kingdom of man will come down, will collapse, ladies and gentlemen. But the kingdom of Yahushua Mashiach is an everlasting kingdom that will never come to an end. Praise the name of Yahweh. This is an indestructible kingdom. Glory to Yahweh. Heavens and the earth going to be shook, ladies and gentlemen. But this kingdom, if you in this kingdom, this kingdom will never be shook. And you will never be shook if you own the foundation of this kingdom. Bless the name of Yahweh for his truth. Well, I see my time has got away, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to close, amen, this broadcast this evening. Thank you for tuning in with us once again. Thank Yahweh for my, amen, classmate. I see him, amen. We thank Yahweh for you, amen. We played together on the same basketball team. 
thank Yahweh for him. Now he's a man of Yahweh. And we're so grateful, amen, for, amen, my brother Washington, amen, listening to us this evening. But we love you all. We appreciate you. And we pray, amen, that Yahweh's willing that you would tune back in with us on Friday, amen, on Friday evening at the same time. And may Yahweh continue to bless you is our prayers. Amen.